going to start my next recipe. It's going to be a vegetable pot pie. And for the main ingredients, we're going to put, you guessed it, vegetables. So what I have here is I got a bag of frozen pearl onions, 12 ounces. We're going to open that up and just dump that in my pot. Then we got a bag of peas. I love peas, so we're going to load it with peas. And that is... How many ounces is that? 13 ounces. Frozen peas going into the crock pot. Then we got... I got a huge bag of mixed vegetables here. Let's see how many how much we're gonna put in there. There's two cups. I will put four cups of that in there. Four cups of frozen mixed vegetables. I got two cans of stem and pieces of mushrooms. So we're going to drain those and add those two cans of mushrooms. See, I'm going to just put the uh, liquid in there because we we'll need liquid for the soup anyway. So I'll just put that in there, sandwich liquid's in there. Yeah, it ain't much liquid. So we'll put liquid in all of these two cans of mushrooms. Let's see what how many ounces that can is. Eight ounces. Now here was my dilemma. I couldn't decide for my sauce if I wanted cream of mushroom, which would make a nice base for that, or Campbell's cheese, condensed cheese soup, which would be nice for that. And when I was at the store trying to debate on that, I saw the cream of celery, and I like cream of celery too, so I had a real dilemma. And I decided to go with the cream of celery to keep to the th theme of vegetables. So I got two 10 and a half ounce cans of condensed cream of celery going into the crock pot. What I have here is one and a half pounds of potatoes that I had left over from another recipe. So we are going to cut these mini potatoes up in quarters or whatever, just chunks, and put that in there as well. So one and a half pounds of diced tomatoes, potatoes. Okay, so that's what it looks like in my crock pot. I have a cup of water. And we're just going to pour over the top of that. We're going to sit that on low. Put the lid on. And let that cook for eight hours. So I'll see you in eight hours when it's ready. Okay, so I've let that cook for six hours. Because my potatoes have gone soft. And that's what I was looking for. Check that out. Does that look good or what? Check that out. Now, I this is steaming hot, probably from fogging up my camera lens. So I'm going to let this cool down. 
then we'll get this all trayed up but check out those vegetables and let me tell you that celery soup is perfect all right so i'm gonna let this cool down and i'll see you when we try it up okay that has cooled down quite a bit does that look good or what so we are going to put two and a half pounds it's still kind of warm i see some steam coming off of that but we're gonna put two and a half pounds on each tray or thereabouts that's two and a quarter trays getting full looking in my pot there I want to make sure I got enough for three trays so we'll start with that all right so I ended up with 2.15 pounds per tray which is fantastic so I'm going to pop these in the freezer, get them frozen solid. Next thing I need to move on to is my crust. And I don't have what I need tonight, so I'll stop and get that tomorrow on the way home from work. And we'll do the crust tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Okay, it's been about a week. <laughs> Life happened and I have had my pot pie mix in the freezer for a week. And it's about time I got these uh, the, the crust done. So what I got here is a can of Pillsbury's Grands Flaky. And this is a large can. One pound, three ounces. And nothing much to say about those. So let's get those opened up. We're going to just make these according to directions. What I'm going to do is cut the, each biscuit in quarters. Just like that. And we're going to put them on my baking tray. And I'll see you when I get these done. Okay, so I got the oven preheated to uh, 350 degrees. I'm going to bake them according to the directions on the package. I can keep an eye on them because I have cut them smaller to make sure I don't burn them, hopefully. And I'll see you when they come out of the oven. Okay, there you have it. Baked according to directions. It's nice and cooled down now. We'll get those trayed up. And next time you see all this, it'll be coming out of the freezer dryer, and we'll do a taste test. I'll see you then. There we go. There's my vegetable pot pie. 40 hours later in the freeze dryer. All looks nice and dry. Along with my biscuits. So let's get her packaged. I'm going to put three squares in each pouch. Nice and light. Like that. And I'm just going to kind of crumble it up just to make room for my biscuits. I'm not going to do too much crumbling because I want big chunks of vegetables if I can. What I did with the math, I, I figured that I'm going to have three quarters of a biscuit per serving. And that should give me a couple of quarters left. So I'm just going to put those in a Ziploc bag like that. Not shut, zip shut, and stick those in the top of the bag. Like that. I'll put these off to the side. 
I'll get the rest of this packaged up and I'll come back and I'll put a 300 cc O2 absorber in each one of these and do a heat seal. I'll see you when they're all packaged. And one more for the seal. Beautiful seal. And there we go. Turn that off. We'll let this cool down and then we'll do a taste test. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, let's do lunch. So let's open this up. Here's my package. We'll fish out my biscuits, i.e. pie crust. Take out my 300 cc O2 absorber and pretty much I put three squares in there and my formula kind of seems to be about a quarter of a cup per square so we'll go three quarters of a cup of hot water in there hopefully it won't be too much Get that shut give that a little mix around let that sit for two minutes. I'll see you in two minutes. There we have it. That's been two minutes. Let's open her up. Give it a nice stir. See how it's looking. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. If not, just a little bit runny. stir. Make sure those big chunks of potatoes are in the liquid. Alright. Seal that back up. And we'll wait two more minutes. I'll see you in two more minutes. Alright, that's been two minutes. So let's get this open. Oh yeah, that thickened up a little bit. So that's what it looks like in the pouch. Now, I'm going to take most of these biscuits. I'm going to take a few out just for garnish. And I'm going to go ahead and dump these into the bag. Give it a stir. Kind of get those mixed in with that. Get them starting to soften because that's kind of like your bottom crust to your pie. And let's dish it out. Look at those big chunks. make it look pretty. The beautiful thing about using these uh, flaky pastries is they come apart in layers if you freeze dry them. Well, if they don't crumble, but that'll, that'll work. All right, let me get a close-up of that. Let's dig in and see how this vegetable pot pie tastes. Mmm. That was a nice chunk of potato. I was curious if that would get rehydrated, and it did. So 
get some with that crust on there. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is nice. Let's try a mushroom here. Mmm. Texture on that mushroom is perfect. Mm-hmm. This is a winner. By mixing that crust in, most of it, we got a little bit soft, which is what happens when you eat a pot pie. The bottom crust will be soft, and the top parts will be nice and browned and crisp. Mm -hmm. and that's what we have here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Everything came back beautifully. Let me just take one of these potatoes with the skin on them. Let's see how that came out. That's good. But the skin is just a little bit chewy. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to follow this recipe, I think you should just dice your, get some diced potatoes with the skins off, and you wouldn't go wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's not to the point I wouldn't eat that. It's very nice, but it's not a, a moist skin on that those little bitty potatoes. And that's not on all of them, because some of them are perfect. Break up my biscuit there. Or we'll call it my pie crust. Mmm, mmm. It's so good. I think that celery soup is the perfect combination, too. There you have it. What do y'all think of that? Those mushrooms, big chunks of them. Perfect texture. Not soggy or anything. Mmm. I am going to call this one definitely a winner. And I think three quarters of a cup worked out perfectly for water. To rehydrate. That was delicious. We are going to say, winner, winner, vegetable dinner. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I sure enjoyed eating it. I look forward to seeing you next time.